Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Don't forget, if you like the video, click on like and subscribe and talk about it on chat lines, wherever it is your social media activities and help us to grow and help more people. I'll talk to you soon. It uh, says, hi Mehran, we've talked on Instagram before. Oh, have we? My ex broke up this May. We've been breaking up a lot, actually. Actually, she was, what? For this whole last year, continued the next, okay? For this whole last year, she love, she have said things like, I'm ugly, dumb, and whatnot. My friends hate her, and everyone who knew what she did hates her too. But why can't I? Because that's the only source you can get some sex. And you don't think of yourself much. Uh, we have expression says you're pussy whipped, meaning you think pussy is everything. Uh, while it has a high value in the in, in our eyes, but um, I'm being, um, uh, you know, I'm just talking the way I am because I want to get it through your head. That the reality of it is at, uh, again, your age 23, it's not like li uh, girls are lining up, and especially in that neck of the wood, girls are treated like a commodity and they know it because you can't have sex easily with anybody it's not so free like the western society so therefore you are bound to think of them as something amazingly highest value which women are generally a highest value and uh, kudos to them however it makes it more difficult for you to when a woman pays attention to you in that neck of the wood to ignore it because you think who else is going to pay attention to me it's so difficult here and it's a privilege that she smiled at me or she's my girlfriend and they know it because there's lineup for everyone who wants to get into their pants they think it's because there's also high and mighty and great they don't think that this is not they're doing it's the fact that men are programmed to want to get into their pants so their popularity is not because they have accomplished amazing things in their lives that everybody is now, you know, interested in them. It's because men are made that way. They can't get enough of it, especially in that neck of the wood. There's not enough opportunities. So every one of these girls have a little bit of a mm, stronger hand to play. Hmm? So you need to rise above this whole bullshit and value yourself and have certain standards and expect a woman to meet your standards if she says you're ugly says thank you very much that's the door i don't want to be with someone who considers me ugly and i don't need you or anybody to try to put me down because the only way you can feel good and great is by putting other people down that's not a character that I want to be around with. There are two ways of having the tallest building in, in town. One is to destroy all other buildings. Then you haven't done anything to your building. It looks bigger, mighty, and better than all the other buildings. Why? Because you destroyed all the other ones. And why do you do that? Because you have no talent of making your own building. No talent to rise the building higher to have new technologies and keep building and developing it. When you don't have talents like that, you start destroying other buildings. When women or men, however, and human being doesn't have enough confidence and talent about their own abilities to make something out of themselves, therefore they cannot become any better or they cannot become important. So their only way to become important is to knock somebody else down. That's a narcissistic asshole. So you want to be away from this kind of a shit as far as you can. She's an asshole. She's a low life, And she's disrespectful and appreciative. I don't give a shit how she looks like. If she looks like God knows what. Uh, or she looks like whoever, you know, shit of the, you know, in the street. Her behavior makes her look like shit, feel like shit. And being with her makes you shit. So... Grow a pair and tell her if she calls you ugly, she should go find somebody else. If she calls you dumb, then she must be too smart for me. 
then you go. You tell her. Say, well, if you think I'm dumb, that means you're too smart for me. I don't want to be with someone who's too smart. And if you think I'm ugly, then that means you 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 need somebody who's much more handsome than I am. Then you got to go and find that. Because I don't want to be with someone who's got a bad mouth, bad energy, and tries to put me down because she's so low and she can't make anything out of her that she thinks the only way she can rise above me is to put me down. And that kind of person has no place in my life. Bye-bye. If you really want to build yourself, build your character, and don't worry about, oh, I can't touch her anymore, I can't kiss her, or I can't fuck her or anything like that. If you don't worry about that, then you will become a man that you should be with standards and your next girlfriend would be a qualified, nice girlfriend because you looked for niceness, not for, I don't know, nice body or you're horny or whatever that you chose her. I don't know, lack of availability or whatever. Okay, I hope that helps you out. You broke up with her, have you? Thank God, if you have. You didn't tell me that. You say that we don't follow each other. Oh, you mean on Instagram or whatever? But she watches my Instagram stories, and I kind of started putting up stories so that she watches and gets bothered and maybe come back. No, 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 no. You move on. You're 23 years old. At age 23, you hardly know yourself, let alone know what kind of woman you want. She's a piece of shit. If she treats you at this stage, she's got a big narcissistic, idiotic brain, and you let her go find her own. I don't care how beautiful she may look. Even if she looks like Ashwarya, what is that? That girl's a beautiful Indian girl is gorgeous. Is that even if she looks like that, you let her go. All right, so you don't want her back. You don't want her back. And do your Instagrams according to what it is that you want to do, not because what she likes or what she doesn't like. Don't. That will condition you to become deeper and deeper in the hole to the point that you will start losing your own respect. And when you lose your own respect, that's uh, the end of time. Then nobody's going to give you respect, let alone a girl that you like. Hmm? So go on expect to help yourself to through these experiences learn a thing or two about yourself when you get about maybe five six years from now you'll be much older you know a little bit more about yourself that's the time you will have certain standards that you will be looking for in a candidate girlfriend right now you have no standards all the standards you have that she would have nice legs or nice boobs or she looks good or she dresses nice or you know she smiles at you that's it at that age, we have no other standards. We don't know anything. All we know is, oh, she turns me on. That's it. But that's not good enough to have a girlfriend. She has to have manners, morals, interests, attention, you know, uh, some uh, compatibility and things that you guys can share. Not just, she's a girl, so she's got it, and I want it. So she's got something that I want, but I've got nothing that she wants. That's a, that's a mentality there. Because all guys want a girl, and the girls say, Oh, I'll, I'll choose. No, she has to qualify for certain proper standards. She doesn't have it. You don't give a shit. Move on. Relationship doesn't happen between the physical touch only. Hmm? Relationship happens in here, in the consciousness. Bonding on the conscious level between two people. Hmm? So therefore, you can't decide that, oh, that's the right girlfriend for me because she looks pretty. Maybe at the outset, it's a good invitation to search and find out if you guys have things in common, but nothing more. There's no evidence that uh, it will never work just because a relationship is based on, uh, you know, making each other horny. Well, that's, uh, that's, that's not her doing. You're programmed to be horny. You're a heterosexual male and you'll be interested in women. So that's nothing that she has created. She was born like that, looked like that, and you're having a program to be uh, you know, attracted to her. That's it. So what has she done here? What is her role? Nothing. You got to see if she's come up with her role. She meets up your standards, meets with your standards, you know, measures up or not. She doesn't. Just the fact that she looks good and she's a female is not good enough to have a relationship with her. She got to bring some more stuff to the table. Yeah. Manners, morals, education, Abilities, understanding, compassion, care, unselfishness, all these things. 
stuff that she expects you to have, you gotta expect her to have. You know, you can say if I'm ugly, why the fuck you're uh, attracted to me, huh? Why? <laughs> so that means, that, you, you know, that's what your choice is. And anyhow, you, what you say is not uh, what I am. So get lost. Just block her and go on with your life. She's not the last girl on earth and she's not qualified to be your girlfriend. Anyhow, have a little respect for yourself. Rise yourself. Or you're, you're better than her. The fact that the boys want that, what we know what they want from the girl, that makes them think that the girl is better than them. Why? Because they have a need. Hmm? If you understand this, then you will not give her the qualification of being better than you just because you have the need for certain intimacy. That's beside the point. That's not her credit. That's the way we are programmed. So understand that and move on. Okay, let's go on to the next. We don't want to turn this into a one-on-one -on -one consultation. You guys know that you can always go on my site, um, mind.seekstruth.com, mind.seekstruth.com, and make an appointment on Skype, and we can discuss and explore together, one-on-one -on, -one on Skype, what's concerning you. And always for new clients, when you register for one hour, I'll throw in another hour for the first session, and we'll have two hours, and we can have ample time to explore what it is that you want to talk about. Guys, especially people in India, please understand that I need you guys to promote this channel. There are a large number of people in India who need to understand to get some help about certain things that they are looking for. And I know it's not so convenient for yourselves to find someone who knows a thing or two to help you out with understanding about your relationships or your you know, movement of your psyche and things like that. Um, so you can, you know, uh, read my book that I have uh, made it available for you on the site, or you can make an appointment with me, or you can come to live talks like this, or you can watch over 3,000 videos that I have on this channel. They're all free. So you have options that you don't have to pay, but you can get the consultations that you might be needing. But I need you guys at least for all these 3,000 videos or the live talks, which are all free, to promote the channel, to not be selfish and not to keep it to yourself and help others in India to know that this exists, this help, this channel exists, and they can get some answers that they might be looking for about their relationships and so on. So I rely on you guys to promote this channel the best way you can. Subscribe on my channel, visit my channel, and go through the videos that you might be interested in. Mindatseekstruth.com, making it one step away to talk to me one-on-one -on, -one on Skype and discuss what's concerning you. I'll talk to you soon. Well, we too, like the iceberg, have thousand times bigger powers that is not visible, and we must. Why? Is it something we're rambling on and I expect you to accept it? Or is there actually another power within us? Would you come and help me out? Okay. What I want you to do is put your hands underneath my arms uh -huh. and just lift me up. There we go. Okay, now, that's my physical part, right? Mm. Same thing, again, with that. Just want to see if there's any difference. Go ahead. Now, go ahead. Now, this, go ahead. When you're ready. Go ahead. So you see, this is different than what he was doing. And I'm not really doing anything. Doing anything. You're convinced? Yeah. So are you guys convinced that there is something other than... Thank you. Yeah, Thank you.